What's going on everyone? My name is GameKiller here. Welcome back to part 19 of our Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Let's Play. Now, when I left off, we had initiated the boss battle with Nithral, I believe his name was. And, uh, he d uh, we found out that he decides to heal. What is... Wait, what is this? What do I mean I can't do that here? It looks cracked. And I'm pretty sure tutorials on that art can break cracks. That was wrong. Excuse me. Hey, there you go. I was right. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Is that good? Can I go in here now without death? I mean, I can't do that here. I'll do whatever I want here. Also, let me just check real quick, because this guy is, like, a major douche. Like, he, like, I only got him down to finish his first bar of health, and then he just decided to heal all of it. So, usable eyes. Oh my god, this is all my eyes I have left. Alchemy, book. I was trying to see if I have a, uh... Yeah, drink of a Danian lager so you can uh, heal up a little bit. I was trying to see if I had a um a repair box. Cause I looked it up and like the way the only ways you can heal your or not heal um fix broken items is with either a repair box that you can buy from people or you go to a blacksmith. So um, also I'm gonna try and be I'm gonna try and kill him with my uh. My steel so if I won't work like at all. If it doesn't, I'll switch. But I just want to see if, uh, if because my silver sword's broken, if that would maybe do a little bit more damage. I'm also just trying to get the full health. That's as close as I'm gonna get. Oh, oh let me not be drunk when I go into this fight, please. That's my silver sword. There you go. I guess I even call it steel sword. It's called silver, or yeah, it's called a steel weapon. Okay, Geralt, sober up real quick. There you go. Yeah, we've seen this. I am. Very uh, ready to just keep using that tactic of just using um, Igni. No, please. No, take out your steel. I just want to see how much damage this does to him. Let me also use Quen, because Quen will also be very good against this guy. It, I mean, it disappears in one hit, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick to that, because at least it actually does the correct damage. It does, it fights against these people. I did not mean to use one again. Well, now that I did. Wow, Strong Attack actually did do some damage. Okay, we hit for hit. Actually, I, I think that's gonna be my tactic. Use Quen and strong attacks, because my strong attacks seem to do very well. Meanwhile, Q is just keeping him in a corner right now. Okay, he hit me, but the damage was, uh... was blocked, because I used my Quen. Oh my god, use Quen. Yeah, like once I defeat him for his first bar of health, he just decides to heal it all back. Okay, okay I did hit him. For a second, I thought I didn't. Now I got really scared. The, I don't understand the point of dodge. I like to do that better. Because I feel like that's a better attack. Or not attack, a better way to dodge. <coughs> I am also like very sick, so excuse me if I start to cough. Also, I know I've missed like, what, four days of videos? That's because like, I was really sick to where like, 
when I would talk, I would immediately just start coughing again, so I did not think I was ready to uh, record. But, like, I have gotten better, and that's why I'm here. Excuse me. See, there's his healing. Good job. Use my, uh, my trusty... Please get over here. Oh, I was not even close to you for you to try and hit me. Use Quen. Oh, hey, now I'm not restricted by the, uh, the cold. <laughs> that got scared because I didn't think he was right there. Yeah, see, he just healed for all of his health again. Is he back? Okay, he's back. Use a Quen, and let's get back into this. This process. I will not end the episode until he's dead, though. Because, like, in, re in reality, my hits do damage, even though I'm using a broken sword. And, uh... And, uh... Oh, he hit me. Uh, and it's just the fact that I'm using a broken sword. So, I feel like if I had a non-broken sword, this guy would be dead, like, instantly. Or at least semi-instantly. Ah, oh, he didn't hit me. Oh, God, he's about to, though. Dodge away. Jesus. There you go, hit him. I When I have Quen equipped, I don't care if I get hit. I know that he'll take damage and I won't. <laughs> okay, run away again. Equip Quen. Dodge one sec so I can get a little bit used. Or a little bit uh, gained. Oh no. Uh, actually, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> uh. Use an Igni real quick. There you go. Uh, back to Quen. Okay, Nithwall. Now I'm just worried about how many more times he's going to use that uh, healing ability. Oh god, use Quen. I was getting ready to attack him without having Quen re-equipped. He hit me, re-equip. Oh, he didn't hit me! <laughs> Screw you! Re-equip. Come here! Oh, there you go. Great. Now he's gonna use it again. Oh, Rift's right here. Perfect. Actually, no. Use a coin real quick. He's going to reheal all of his damage, isn't he? I really hope this is the last time then. Because if he decides to heal all of his damage... Die, die, die. Come on, die. Okay, he didn't get to reheal all of his damage. Uh, regain Quen. Uh, no, keep it on Quen. Quen is the way to go in this fight. Okay, hopefully, because I noticed that he did that on his last, like, leg of health. So hopefully he won't do that again. Okay, re-equip. Run away. I am leading him, like, way too far away from, uh, Kira. I like to have him close to Kira. Even though she fu she fires that thing, like, a long way. Come on, take another one. Wow, he actually hit me that time. I didn't- I did not think he was gonna hit me. He did, like, a, a turnaround hit. Okay, use Quen. Oh! Okay, I have not- I don't think I've taken- I think I've maybe taken like two hits of damage in this entire battle. You Quen. Okay. It's almost dead, almost dead. 
I really hope this is the last boss. I've beaten two bosses in this, uh... I've played through this whole mission with a broken sword. So, like, seriously. <laughs> come here, break your game. Let this be the final boss. I killed a golem and I killed Mithwall with a broken sword. Okay, okay, listen. Don't do damage to me, please. Quen. Okay, okay, I get to him twice. I feel like that's a good way to do it. Because, like, when he attacks with Quen, or when he attacks and breaks my Quen, uh, he leaves himself open for one more attack, which is, like, really good. See, like, there. Oh, he's stunned. Oh, good job, Q. You actually killed him. Unnecessarily. Let's look around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going. I'm going to send this picture to like the Witcher Twitter and tell him I just beaten this wall with a broken uh, silver sword. I I feel like I should be rewarded for this. All right, let's watch this message. Oh, message time. Okay. See you there. This place is no longer safe. Oh, it's not. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one, and above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Good job. The last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here. Surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Siri. Well, we know they were well acquainted and traveling together. Uh, He did warn her, so let's go with that. Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bob. You're hiding something. But I didn't say. Uh, do you know these witches? Didn't mention them earlier. Do you know them? You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village, it mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders. But they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Uh, can I pause this real quick? Oh, What's well then. On this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old. I shall be right back, guys. I'm just gonna let this cutscene play out. I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously, render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. Sorry about that, guys. I had to check something real quick. But real quick, let me just cut the episode before I answer Kiva. So be right back, guys. Hey, everyone. Um, I I'm a little mad right now. Uh, you may remember that I cut the episode talking to Kiva. Uh, and I was saying, like, oh, how did I find the witches? I chose that one. But after recording the next, like, 15 minutes... I accidentally re-recorded over that video, so uh, let me just re-record it again for you guys. Yeah, I yeah. After after she was talking to me, I told her, "Oh, how did I find?" Him? She said, "Oh, go crookback, whatever, crookback bog, I think it was called." I don't care. So I'll be done with this already. I, I, I got mad really quickly. Fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. I am so Wait, I'm so path. mad at myself. I'm such an idiot. What now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can Good for it, you. Help. Fine, I'll help. Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Also, real quick, before I do that, where is is it over here? No, where is it? It's over here. Here it is. 
because I'm pretty sure it didn't show this part. Right here, it was an illusory wall, and Kira gave me an item called the Eye of Nehalini that dispels illusion, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. I'm trying to remember everything that happened after that cutscene point, because I am mad at myself for that. Like another damned riddle to me. Well, let me inspect it. What's going on here? Show me. She's so excited. Description? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames. Standing proud in a line, the first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. Sounds like a riddle, all right. Let's try to solve it. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. And of course, I remember it. So it's this one, then this one. Wait, something just happened. Good for something. That and then it's this one right it. here. Ignite it, please. And then it's this one over here. <laughs> okay, good. It worked. Let's get this magic lamp that you've requested Which of me. Is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. I said that you can see like little marks. What is that then? If that's go. not an inscription. I didn't already know where she was buried. I guess this is Laura Doran's sepulchre. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just deserts for marrying Kragenin of Lord. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? Yes, I I agree with that statement like so wholeheartedly. Oh, there was a chest here that I forgot, so maybe it's good that uh I remember that. Oh, I think also. That's probably something that got cut off. I read this guy's description. It turned out not only Geralt was looking for Cirilla, also on her trail, a mysterious elven mage. Like the Witcher, he had gone to Kira Metz to inquire about Siri's whereabouts. During this conversation, he also revealed that he kept a hideout in the ruins near the village of Midcops. Geralt decided to follow up on this lead. Though he was not able to establish the mysterious mage's identity, he did learn that he had been traveling with Cirilla some time before, and the Wild Hunt was after him as well. I also leveled up uh, at the very end, but now since I get to record it, I know everything that happens. I actually have time to look at the skills and see which one I want. Oh god, I don't think this got covered through either. Inventory, I have to read. I have to read this all again. Where's where's us? Uh, I have the Helene. Yeah, she, uh, Kira gave me this book after uh, that cutscene, so let's read it. The gods have abandoned us. The mighty of this earth care not for our fate. Only the ladies of the wood watch over Velen. In foul times, when plague and famine reap their harvest, we must beg the ladies for help. If they see fit, they will hear our pleas and knock back fortune's foul blows. This is how one begs help from the ladies. Find a child, young and innocent and take it to Crookback Bog. Seek out the Lady's Shrine, tis where the Trail of Treats begins. Set the child off on the trail, and it shall follow the sweet track and find the good ladies. The child will never want for anything again, for the ladies are kind and generous. Stand before their shrine, pronounce your supplication, and the good ladies will hear, for they see and hear all that takes place in their demes, nay. If you made the offering as it must be done, your plea shall be heard. That's the Ladies of the Wood. Oh, I think, what was that armor? She gave me, like, armor, didn't she? Oh, that god, that's broken too? No, oh, this one right here. Nope, it is not as good. 
Wait, what am I wearing? I'm wearing this. Verdant Archers. Okay, well, let's leave. I am so happy to never have Someone to be in this cave again. Here. That's me using the Eye of Nehalini. Oh my god, it's a different time as well. It was like dawn when I got out here the first time. Uh, at last. I'm just so good. I'm just so happy I don't have to go into that cave like literally ever again. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit me sometime? Why don't you just ask me the favor now? I'll be sure. I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira. Now she's gonna do the old Triss Marigold special, make a teleporter. Uh, I like how she doesn't even say bye. Like, I'm at least like, oh, see ya, Kira. She's like, peace. Okay, now I have to go to the Baron's castle. Bloody Baron is the mission title. Now I get to level up. So I can actually look at these. Okay. Okay, let's look at this. Where are my signs? Here they are. What's... Okay, this one I've been putting on... Oh, Melt Armor. Next level, damage done by Igni. Also, friendly weakens enemy armor. Uh, where's Quen? This should be Quen. Quen shield pushes opponents back when it breaks. Ooh. That sounds actually very good. Alchemy ge oh, general. What's in general? Maximum vitality increased by 500. If you couldn't stand the levels too low, too low, science can be cast using adrenaline. What is adrenaline points? Uh, what is this? Steady shot. Oh, sorry, sorry. During the day, Vitality regenerates by an additional 10 points per second when not in combat. At night, Stamina regenerates by an additional 1 point per second during combat. Okay. Crossbow bolts deal 25% more damage. That would be good. Uh, increases critical hit damage. Griffin school techniques. Bear school techniques. Metabolic control. Uh, both weapon damage and side intensity. Maximum to uh, toxicity by 30. Uh... <coughs> My yes. Fast attack damage increased by five. Well, let, let's do strong attack right now. But now I have to. Wait, how do I unlock these? Uh, well, level six. One more level. But let's activate it. Uh, target does not move towards kill. He was casting Axie. Also increases the effective effectiveness of Axie in combat. Uh, damage dealt by Igni also apparently we can fix it for the bar. Uh, let's get rid of Axie for now. Okay. Also, I did have time in the other, uh, video, but now I can actually teleport somewhere to, uh... That's a monster nest. To, um... To fix my... My stupid sword. Where is anywhere? Oh, here we go. Uh, armor! No, oh, but that's like, that's not weapons, or it shouldn't be at least. Notice board? Can I fast travel? I cannot fast travel. Okay, that's the Baron's castle. Blacksmith, right here. Wait, what? You must find, oh, I have to find a fast travel uh, signpost, are you kidding me? Oh, well, now you get to see me walk around. Yes, I get an invitation. Oh, cool, so at least tell me where to meet her. I need to find this stupid armor table. This blacksmith table, I mean. Uh, is it all? It's all the way up here. How do I make a marker? There. Okay, Roach. That's not the right button. And she disappears over here. What is... Oh my god, Wraith. Okay, Wraith 
deal like, oh my god, they're like, they're like a lot higher level than me. I'ma just run real quick. I cannot deal with that. Excuse me, let me just cross this river. Just run, get all run, do not think about it. Oh my god. Roach. Roach, please spawn on this island. Okay, you're over here. Oh my god, Roach, I've missed you. I just realized this is an island. So I probably cannot go anywhere. Unless this leads to mainland. Let's just continue going for now. I have like another two minutes. I'll get as far as I can to that place. When do I see- I wanna know when I see Vesemir again. Nope, it's an island. That's probably why there was a boat. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably why there was a boat. Slow now. Whoa. Actually, no, don't dismount. Actually, let, yeah, let's just walk there. Gale needs to lose some weight. Um... That's gonna be if I um, I know I'm not gonna get there uh, this episode because I have like a minute and a half left, but that's gonna be the first thing I get done in next episode. You you better believe that. I am sick of not having a full or a fixed um a fixed silver sword. I'm gonna just get to this boat and that's why I'm going in the episode. Hopefully the race don't respawn. Oh, they seem to have. Okay, I need to find out where Kira left me. Because that place I actually don't realize. Why oh, I don't remember, excuse me. Oh my god, am I anywhere close? Am I anywhere close to it? Oh yeah, there's the boat. Okay, let's get in this boat, and then I'll end the episode. <laughs> Get on the boat. There you go. Okay, well, with, with its raging rivers, deep oceans, and broad lakes nested in mountain valleys, the world contains many areas inaccessible on foot or horseback. To get to them, you must either swim or sail. Look for boats along shorelines and at locations marked with the harbor symbol. Be careful, if your boat smashes into rocks or other obstacles, it will become damaged or, and might even sink. That's good to know. Um, to take the helm of a boat, press X. Okay, thank you. I would like to end the episode, though, first. Okay, I actually did a little bit more in this in this version of the other half of the episode. I actually leveled up a point, and uh, now I'm set to go find an armor tape. Hi there, Mr. Drowner. Wait, that's not a drowner. Do I have like binoculars or something? That's not a drowner, I'm pretty sure. But we'll deal with that in the next episode. So, as always. My name is Game Killer. I'll see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace. Load game. Hunting a witch. When was this? Two eight sixteen. This should be right after him. Please. Uh, That's my fault. That's my fault. Where is this? Please be after I killed this wall. I don't care about anything else. Just be after him. Leads. What was the question?